Types and Effects of Forces Not all forces are the same. Some push, some pull, and some even work without touching. Let's explore the different types of forces that shape our everyday lives. Forces are divided into two main categories, contact forces and non-contact forces. Let's start with contact forces, these need physical touch to work. Let's discuss different examples of contact force. When you push a cart, you're using applied force, it's a direct push or pull. Imagine kicking a ball. It rolls, but eventually stops because of friction, a force that resists motion. Another example of a contact force is the normal force. Imagine a book placed on a table. Gravity pulls the book downward, but the table doesn't let it fall. Instead, the table exerts an upward normal force that balances the downward force of gravity, keeping the book at rest. If the table weren't there, the book would fall due to gravity, proving that the normal force is what prevents objects from sinking through solid surfaces. Tension force is another example of a contact force. Pulling a rope in tug-of-war? That's tension force acting through the rope. One more example is a spring force. Stretch a rubber band, it snaps back because of spring force. Therefore, contact forces only work when objects touch. Next, let's discuss non-contact forces. Unlike contact forces, which need objects to touch, non-contact forces can act even when objects are apart. The first example is a gravitational force. Gravity pulls objects toward Earth, like an apple falling from a tree. It keeps planets in orbit around the sun and hold galaxies together. The second example is magnetic force, it attracts or repels objects without touching. Another example of non-contact force is electrostatic force, it causes charged objects to attract or repel, like a balloon sticking to a wall. Both contact and non-contact forces are at work all around us, shaping everything from the tiniest objects to the largest planets. Now let's discuss various effects of forces. A force can make a stationary object start moving. A force can bring a moving object to a stop. A force can increase or decrease the speed of an object. A force can make an object change its direction. Is there anything else a force can do? A force can also change shape of an object. Therefore, each force has different effects on objects, from making them move, stop, or change direction. These forces shape everything in the universe. Thank you for watching.